Hey, this is Papa Patras, also known as Peter Rocco Crowfoot. Um, I'm known as a homeowner's advocate, and we're here in a free added value series for all of you weekend warriors and those of you who want to know more about the whole process of repairing a roof and maintenance issues. Uh, today, we're highlighting a home where this house was built about 12 years ago and the issues that we see here are very common when I do a roof repair mainly my installers do this but I've been in the business for 30 years since I was a young pup so I'm personally doing this repair just to show uh, all of you in the social media is YouTube uh, uh, a lot of uh, people are more than welcome to repost this on your educational websites but uh, what we're doing today is we're highlighting and we're discussing the issue of inadequate ventilation. What I mean by that is this roof is only 12 years old. It had a good shingle put on here. Should have lasted for at least 20, 22 years if it had been maintenanced every year. But this house roofing system was set up for failure from the word go, 90%, it's staggering according to the Roofing Association, National Roofing Association, 90% of all roofs, even in uh, St. Marlowe's Country Club, which is not too far from here, St. Ives, these big, you know, thirty, forty thousand dollar $40,000 roofing systems, the manufacturers voids the warranty. And here's why. Number one, a lot of these houses are installed incorrectly with the roofing system. They use staple fasteners. Now. The danger with a, a staple fastener is when you're using an air compressor, pneumatic gun, the calibration be set too high, and when you shoot it in, it shoots it through the shingle. So what does that mean? Well, down here in the south, it means that when you have a strong wind, shingles are blown off. I'm sure you've seen it. I've seen it. Driving by, and you see some shingles blown off. Well, that's the reason why. Now, back to the inadequate ventilation system. This was the thinking back then you're going to put six one two three four five six vents as we discussed earlier in our series of uh, roofing 101 you got to have adequate ventilation unfortunately this isn't adequate ventilation and uh, telltale signs is heat rises as you know and it's got to have a way to escape that's why they put these strategically positioned mushroom vents here, six of them, to allow the air to escape. But look what we have here. These shingles are only 12 years old. Now why are they decomposed? Here's why. When you get these hot dog day August summer days, it's about 100 degrees sometimes in August, on the roof, you can bet it's about 160, 180 degrees. That's why we're up here early in the morning. When you're doing a roof repair, you want to make sure your installer comes early in the morning. Otherwise, you're going to scuff up the sheet, uh, not sheet rock, but the uh, asphalt shingles. There's going to be issues there. So you want to come early. It's about 9, 9.15 in the morning before it gets too hot. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to show you an easy way those of you, be careful. I'm on a, what we call in the industry a magic carpet. See how steep this roof is? Now this is just a foam, okay? From uh, an old uh, piece of furniture. Now what's great about that is it acts like Velcro. Look, I'm just sitting just as comfortable as can be, no hands. One hand I'm holding the camera, the other hand I'm waiting to you guys out there. You probably think I'm crazy, but this is safe. I would not recommend you to do this if you've never done this before. But it's what's very common in our industry. You see these little foams, and usually you'll have another foam where you walk, you walk, and you step your way up. Now, here's all you need. Flat bar, your hammer, and what we're gonna do is we're going to go underneath the shingle gingerly and we're going to lift up the shingle so we can see what's going on. 
Now see, there's a prime example right there. You see that nail, that fastener? I don't know if you can see it, but uh, there you go. The pneumatic equipment, the calibration was set wrong, so this was actually nailed too far into the shingle. So you get some rain, and here's what's going to happen. Loss of winds is going to blow the shingle off. Now you can see very clearly what's going on here. You know, you have the greenhouse effect. These shingles are prematurely aging. There's no reason for this other than inadequate ventilation. You get 180 degrees in your attic, and it's literally cooking your shingles. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to show you more detail what's going on. You can see it's it's rusted. Whenever you see rust, that means there's a water penetration point. You see the registration vent, the mushroom vent. Water is penetrating up there because no one told this homeowner that every year you've got to reseal. See right there? It's lifting up a little bit. The metal flashing that comes with the mushroom vent, it'll torque out from this hot sun. It'll lift up and then you get water penetration points and this is the end result. You can see the mold all there. You see the rust imprint. So what we're going to do is, uh, as an act of good faith, every quarter we pick out a family, usually a widow that's on fixed income, and uh, we get Home Depot, Lowe's, Habitat, Humanity to donate the materials, and we provide the labor. We're coming to this as a community service. Let's not always rely on the government for everything. Medicaid and Medicare can only take you so far. People are entitled to that. They've been paying into the system for all these years. But a new uh, uprising phenomenon is occurring. More and more communities are getting involved. I'm not the only company that does this. There's a lot of wonderful communities in your area and a lot of wonderful contractors that donate their time. So we're going to be doing that, and we're happy to do it. Just remember that... Uh, the darkest hour is the hour before the sunrise, and never doubt in the darkness what you know to be true in the light. People aren't going to care how much you know until they know how much you care. And if you genuinely care for people, you try and be the change you want to see in others, we're going to get through this economic earthquake and this global economic downturn. It's just reaching out to your brother and your sister and helping each other out. So I'm excited about doing this because this is the law of reciprocity. That means I may not be rewarded financially, but I'll be rewarded. My spirit will be lifted up. I know I'm doing something good. It's not that I'm this wonderful person. It's just that I like to do good. We, we all, you know, have our moments when we're temperamental. I try not to uh, show that side of myself too much. But uh, in any case, we'll keep you posted. This is in a series. This is number five. We're going to repair this. And we'll come back and show you the end result. Papa Patras, remember, wherever you are, be there. If you're at home, be at home. If you're at work, be at work. If you have a balanced day, you're going to have a balanced life. Remember, please don't ever, ever let the important, the urgent, take place of the important. What I mean by that is we're in an industry in construction where there's always going to be an emergency. And I'm sure if you're in corporate America, you could work 24-7 to keep your job but don't forget yourself take time out for yourself on a Sunday to go to your local synagogue your your temple to your church whatever faith you are and take that time to rest and heal and renew yourself so you can go out there be renewed and be strong for those of you who are the providers for your family alright take care